This was a bad one. I have another one for you. Today we're removing oh, these stairways and I got Mr. Clean with me again. You haven't seen Mr. Clean in a long time. Oh, there's Cricket. Oh. You might have seen him on Weld.com videos. I decided to team up with him to tackle this project and maybe a few more. We'll see how this one goes. So uh, let's start. So what we have to do is first, Chris is going to remove all that brick around the perimeter. We're only supposed to be removing the stairs. But the general contractor just told me that he may want to do the landing too. The problem is the landing is encased in that brick. They put the landing and the stairway up first, then put the brick face on. Yeah. Another challenge we faced was the after school program that we weren't aware of. Finding treasure? Yeah, I found the treasure. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> then one of the workers at the school literally ran through my caution tape and up the stairways while we were cutting it apart. Nothing surprises me anymore. Do you see how far this thing separated? Yeah. It went bing. Oh, dude, I heard it. Yeah. It sounded like this. This whole thing sounded like a, like a tuning fork. <laughs> when that thing went off, this this rail was vibrating. These pans are bolted together. It's super weird. I've never seen bolted together pans. Right. These are weird steps, man. I've never seen them like this. Through in a couple spots, like see yeah, through there, here, here. Yeah, they're really they rotten, man. Right through it. Yeah, so. these things are really rotten. Can we carry it, we carry it up there for you? I've had women bigger than this. <laughs> <laughs> they like the skinny boys, but I don't like them as much. <laughs> so So they actually put this as a solid piece of square stock all the way up and through that railing. So we're going to recycle the, the railings because um, they want to, you know, they're trying to save some money on this project. But they're talking about maybe replacing the landing, which I really do not want to dig into this. But if I have to, I will. So we just had an unfortunate find. We found out that there's actually mesh in the concrete. What is that? I don't know. Drywall or a cement board? That's wild, man. Why, why would they put mesh in the... Because they were built 100 years ago, and now they use that, that fiber I was telling you about. They use the fiber in it. Are you guys going to use fiber when you pour these back? Yeah. That's All what right. we did over at Bayou Boardwalk. You get it in the bag. That mesh really holds things together, huh? Yeah. Makes me feel a lot better about my slab. <laughs> right? <laughs> I can't be 100 years ago. It was a freaking... They didn't put no type on anything 100 years ago. No, yeah. Some psychopath did this recently. <laughs> <laughs> all of these angle irons are breaking away from the... Yeah, they're all bolted on. Yeah, I don't even know. They're Honestly, the, con the concrete's what's holding it in. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, hold on. No, it, it's, I don't know what it's sitting on. I can't tell. I still can't even tell. No, it's like up. It's just yeah. like floating. I don't know what's holding this up in the air. Oh, okay. Right here. I don't know what, th let me tell you something. We take this out, we're opening a fucking can of worms. Yeah. A real can of worms. 
but it, it's sitting on the, the block right here, and then they switch to thinner block right here. See, this is all one. It's all one fucking piece, right? Uh, that's not a piece of the stringer, is it? Yes. Yeah, what the fuck? Just what? Yeah. Well, what the fuck is this then? How is that? I don't know. Harder than a minister's dick, too. <laughs> <laughs> what? Did you say it was harder than a minister's dick? <laughs> Save the place. <laughs> How did they get it? It must be whatever this epoxy or shit is that there's it's like glue. It's probably, it's probably the glue they, their epoxy glue they used to put to glue down the hardy glue. Oh. Uh, is this what they used to put down the, the, um, yeah, but like, it looks like carpet glue. It does, yeah. That's what I used to use for carpet when I worked with my uncle. Yeah, the corner old brick. Dude, so brittle. So what we've done is Chris has come in here with the demo saw. <laughs> By the way, Chris is Mr. Clean. That's Chris. And we've well, Chris has gone ahead and cut this. He's handing me a piece, like a suitcase. There we go. Beautiful. Yeah, Let go. Look at that it's suitcase. There. So, and we're just peeling this thing out piece by piece, just like that cricket's running over there, tossing in the dump trailer. This is coming out pretty decent. We didn't know if we were going to get all this concrete out tonight, but now I'm pretty confident we'll get all this concrete out and possibly these stringers off. Obviously, the rail ra the, the rails will come off first. Usually it doesn't take this long to demo out concrete steps, but because of the wire mesh, it took us about double to triple the time it would normally take me to do a similar set of steps. All right, guys, we're at the point where we need to start torch cutting. I okay. got, I got old Excalibur. You see all that there? All right. Yeah. What we're gonna do is because these fucking things are bolted together because some nut job took the time to actually fucking sit there and drill all those holes and put bolts in them. We're gonna go ahead and fucking cut those bolts out because I ain't sitting there with a grinding wheel. Cause that's just nonsense. So here we go. Can't see fucking shit out of this thing.
What you can't see is on the floor, we've laid a piece of plywood so that way we don't damage any of the tile that's below. Okay guys, it's day two. Chris is starting to demo more concrete, and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna try to take those stringers down in one piece so I can trace them because I'm a lazy bastard, and that's a little easier for me. Still bolted? Yeah, I, I see all, all these holes are right behind yeah, them. And I'm thinking they already yeah. fell through and it's right in front of it. Yeah, I think you got the same thing going on here too. No, no, you got this one. Cause you had the one in front, one in front. You Must have been water gathering right in this corner and rotted it out. I'd want to cut this with a cutoff wheel. So that way when I take it over there, I can just trace it exactly. You know, so I don't have to try to go around a jagged torch for that. And then um, lay it on the other one and then just try to splice it right here. We need to get this concrete out of here. Yeah. We, yeah in that I corner. Break nothing. Little loser. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> We're getting there. I'm just looking at it, right? Oh, yeah. These things a little bit. So, unfortunately, it's par for course when you're doing a restoration job like this, a repair job, where you end up running into nasty surprises like this. So, we couldn't see because of the stringer in the way the extent of the rot on this pole. I'm getting five five star service here. See, so I was when you're the fucking man. So fortunately, Frank and Bob, um, you may have seen him on weld.com with Cricket. Cricket just hit him up and he has some four by four tube drop laying around. So we're gonna throw him 50 bucks and then we're gonna probably run to either like a Home Depot or some sort of hardware store. We'll see what's open. Most likely Home Depot, Lowe's. All right, so here we are, Frank and Fab shop. Let's get some fucking metal from him. There's Bob. All right, guys, so Bob came through for me. 
I know y'all know Frank and Fab. Thanks, brother. I appreciate it. Yeah, All right, I'll catch you on the next Let's one, see. man. So while I was gone, they managed to get the other stringer out. And now um, we're gonna cut a hole um, one third of the way up on this stringer. We're gonna attach a chain fall up there and then cut this thing loose and hopefully it doesn't swing in a way that hurts anyone or damages anything. But we'll see. All right, so what we've done is attach the clevis and a chain fall up to this railing. And uh, what we're gonna do is this is how we're gonna get it, hopefully from not murdering anyone or fucking anything up. Better than I thought it was gonna. So we move the chain fall over here. We're gonna cut this step out first, then knock this stringer off. That's how you know you're cutting her good. That's when the really grinder good. starts moaning at you. Ah. All right, so our next step here is we are going to go ahead and patch this back together. We don't want to go through the trouble of trying to pull this out, fucking with this brick and whatever. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to patch from 14 inches. We're going to patch up here, all the way down to here, uh, above and below the spalded rust, and then over past the bolt holes. So that way everything splices together real nice. So what I'm doing is I'm using the pole that we removed and I'm using the top half because it wasn't rotten. And we're gonna go ahead and cut our patch out of that, splice it right in there.
Oh, it's not bad. Oh. Fucking piece chipped off. So, I fucking cut, I took the time to cut that out around that for no fucking reason. I mean, it was rotten around there, so. Let's see if our patch works out anyway, I guess. Yeah, perfectly. Oh, nope. It was pretty close. Damn it. That was perfect. So my next task is I have to go ahead and straighten this pole out. Um, as you can see, it's just way the fuck out of whack. So what I'm gonna do, oh, how fancy that is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take a, a, a pie out of the bottom and then just straighten it over to where it needs to go. Um, and then we'll weld it into place. <laughs> Nice. Good fit up. Cricket's done with my little my little welder there. Come over and, and uh, get this thing welded in. Fits in really nice. I just doing it with one hand is a fucking bitch, but you can see it fits really nice. And uh, we're just using this little 90 amp flux core guy I got. Works pretty good. It's not the best welder out there. Nice. I just saw my dog dicking it. Before we can cut that, we need to blow this thing apart. So now that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna weld my patch in. Cricket's all done with his over here. He's gonna grind that flush, make it look like it never happened. And we're kind of just gonna do the same thing over to that one, make it disappear. I had two thousand on it. Oh shit. <laughs> mailed them here, mailed them there, next thing I know. All right, check out. Good from the concrete, so we're going to heat it and speed it. Nice. Sweet. Double this way. 
I can see this side. Just tell us this one first. Yeah, it was good. Go towards Anthony. A little bit, a little bit. Right, a little bit more. Right there. So we're keeping this very simple. We're simply just laying these on top of the new stringer pieces. And we're just gonna run some, some chalk down these things, trace them out, cut them out with the grinder. The bottom ones that are the run the concrete. So we've got them all cut, lined up next to the ones that we traced them off of so we don't get them mixed up. And tomorrow we will hang these bastards. It is the start of day number three. We've got everything set up. We've got the old Lincoln hooked up. Cricket's over there. He's prepping out our stringer that we're gonna have to tie into because they did some funky stuff when they made this. Now what we're gonna need to do is go ahead and make the end caps to our C channel. And some guy's singing down there on the road. But anyway, we're gonna make the end caps to our C channel and then we're gonna hang this first stringer, hang our a second stringer, and then hopefully um, it goes pretty smooth and we start setting treads. Okay, now that we've traced the inside of the stringer out, we're gonna go ahead and cut this out and then weld it inside of our stringer. Black Stallion sent your boy this real heavy duty jacket. It's pretty fucking good, honestly. Um, I put it through the ringer the other night, doing some overhead torch cutting as you guys seen earlier in the video. So uh, go check them out. I think they made the best PPE. You know I always run their 1611 gloves no matter what I'm doing pretty much except for TIG. Always wear their neck bib. So uh, yeah, let's get to welding now. All right, so my next step is I'm gonna weld a couple of pieces of drop from our stringer ends onto the C-channel. I'm gonna put one down below and one on the side. And the reason is we're gonna set the C-channel here and they're gonna rest on that. And then we're gonna tie our other one in up into that post or whatever we wanna call it up there. Don't jump over the edge. Uh, do you have rods? Yeah, there? I got my pocket. In pocket, in your jeans. Alright, let's hurst her up. Pull the hoist, pull the hoist to get tight. Alright, good, good, good. How's it fitting, Chris? Close to about half inch. Is it tight? Oh, it's getting there. The back web's open now. I think it's. It needs to go down more? Yeah. There's the advantage to the chain fall. Nice. Nice. How's it look? It's getting better. That's all we got, Cricket. Yeah. That's all there is. Okay. Mm. We got a little bit of a gap down there? Just a little bit. Hand up in 6 to 10 can handle. That's actually, I'm pretty happy with that. That's a pretty tight fit there. It's not perfect, but it's pretty tight. One and five eighths. Inch and five eighths? Yeah. Cut. Cost me the tape? It's exactly what I got. So it's right where it needs to be. Let it 
Much better. Oh, sucker, I left it on grind. Yeah, it smells weird in here. This place is haunted as shit. Right here is where your friend was standing. Yeah, dude, I'm telling you, I, I don't know what it is, they but people... They were stacking the milk crates. That's what they were doing. Maybe. People are always trying to get me to weld in haunted-ass fucking places. One stringer down! As you can see, Cricket's getting us some fully penetrating welds up in here. So everything looks good. I'm really happy with the way he's laying down some welds. Everything looks really good there. We got our caps all prepped out. We're ready to put those on. So we're gonna start hanging and banging now. So Cricket's gonna go ahead, weld this on. So he's got himself a holder right there. So now we got something to hold the stringer on while we're gonna go ahead and, and get it positioned up there. So instead of Cricket wrestling it down here, he can just balance it on that while me and Chris get it right in the right spot up there. All right, you good? Yep. From here, it looks like a Excited? Yeah, wait for you to get done playing with your phone. It's the first pan. Okay, well get your shit in your hand so I can fucking get it up. There. I'm not shitting in my hand for you. You're trying to ruin my video? Well, I don't want this is retarded. I'm fucking trying to work. Come on, come on. All right, come on. Okay, well, are ready? Yeah. What the fuck? Oh, it's because it's at an angle. 45 and 16. I don't know. It's probably just a little out of sorts. Hold on. Okay. Oh, this ain't gonna work. Pop this thing out. Great, you grind. Take the grinder down the side of that thing. Holy sheep shit, Batman! So we made our stringers a little too tight, so I have to nip it, and we're gonna slide this thing over about a sixteenth and eighth of an inch. I'm gonna go forty-five, three sixteenths. There we go. Much better. Yeah, slip that fucker right in there. Cricket, how much do you weigh? Not enough. Not enough? I think you weigh maybe a little bit more than me. Come up here and test these. Good, I believe in you, Anthony. He's gonna have to do some editing. So the new issue we have is that we spread these things out. We gave ourselves three sixteenths gap, you know, so that way we can get, you know, a little over a sixteenth on each side and then, uh, you know, be able to slide the treads in pretty easy. Well, the issue is, is now that I've welded these, we've sucked the stringer back in. And usually what I would do is hammer two by four or four by four or whatever, that's a half inch longer in between the stringers, but I didn't think that far ahead. I didn't bring a piece of wood with me. Found some wood. Wood, wood. So we got some rain coming. I don't know if you guys can see that. I right, right. about 10. <laughs> I do the same shit. <laughs> So um, I didn't check the fucking film back and I don't know, but um, I don't know if you can tell, but that worked out fucking perfect. Yeah, this is what it looks like out here from uh, the second story in this building. I don't know what the fuck that is, but it's all multicolored. Yep. 
back into the spooky house or I mean building. They're just shaving the pans down so that they fit a little bit better. Uh -huh. They're a little bit oh. wider at where they're broke. So he's just nipping the corners anywhere that they're broke so that they fit in a little bit easier. And there's the rain being rained on. Typical Florida shit. Don't miss this. trap on the top of the stringer. The existing one that built in that we gotta make a full penetrating splice on is bent out. There's nothing I can do about that really without getting too technical or without tearing this whole landing out. So all we're doing, we're gonna take a ratchet strap, we're gonna put it on top of the stringer, and we're gonna pull this bastard over until it's where we want it. So that's my root, it's not perfect, but I'm gonna go ahead and run a uh, eighth inch 7018 over it. So it's getting hung up right there. We're simply just gonna go ahead and notch this fucking thing. We're gonna try to keep this tight as we can. All right, guys, it has been a rough fucking night, as you can probably tell by my goddamn voice. But we got both of the bottom stringers up. We have the top stair um, pretty close to being completed. And uh, tomorrow we will start on the bottom and hopefully get everything wrapped up, I hope. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm hoping that's what happens tomorrow. But anyway, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. It is day number four, and hopefully we get it knocked out. I don't want to be here for another day. I don't think I can keep doing this night shift thing. Six days is plenty enough for me, if you include the column job I did last week. Notice that the bottom of the stair pans and the insides of the stringers are primed. That's a little detail that the general contractor who subcontracts me to do this likes to do. This was a bad one. But uh, anyway, guys, I'm gonna finish welding this out. And uh, Cricket's making the kick plate right now. Uh, while I was debating what to do, I put the caps on. Let's wrap this fucking thing up. And, and you know, day number four, it's two days too many. Let's get the fuck out of here. Cricket's prepped all the rails out. We're about to rehang those. 
I'm not going to screw them on. I'm just going to weld them on. Uh, I was I asked about that. That's what they told me to do. All right, guys, we did our best to try to film this, but my phone is a piece of shit. Decided that I didn't have enough memory, even though I deleted, I don't know, 200 something videos. I don't know, whatever. You didn't miss anything, okay? You've seen everything that got fucked up. We corrected the stairway, uh, everything is within code. All we had to do is put the rails back on and those fit like a glove because we traced the stringers. As you can see, we have some nice sturdy rails, put some new caps on. The existing railings, which I'm not really too pleased about this, they had us put on because they are rusty pieces of shit. I wish they would have just splurged and spent the money and let us put some new rails on this fucking thing. But this is all the lipstick we could put on this piggy. And uh, as you can see, everything looks really good. Steps are brand new, stringers are brand new, and uh, we put some new caps on because the kids managed to dent those. I don't know how, but uh, this is a little bonus. I didn't put this in the bid, but you know, you give them, a, you know, you give a little free chicken sandwich. People, people like that. Uh, but our rails are on. Everything's high and tight. Now it's just time for us to clean up and get the fuck out of here. All right, guys, we're done. We're finished. What did you think of this job, Craig? How'd you like it? Uh, it was all right. A few late nights, and uh, you're a little bit of a batshit slave driver, but it'll be all right. Yeah, you know, somebody's got to crack the whip. That's right. But anyway, <laughs> uh, is your first stairway job? Yeah, first stairway job. Cool. What do you think of structural work? Um, Heights. I think there's heights involved, but other than that, I'm, uh, I'm all right with it. Two stories, but anyway. <laughs> Hey, if it's over six feet, it ain't for me, man. Right here. That's the cap. All right. Well, <laughs> all right, guys. Well, that's the end of the video. We're all done. We just got to put our shit away. Um, I'm sorry you didn't get to see some of the fucking putting the railing up and whatever. But like I said, it was pretty standard shit. You didn't miss nothing. No, you didn't miss nothing. But anyway, I'm Melt Metal Anthony. This is Cricket. Go ahead, do a plug. Head hey, first. it's Cricket. Head Follow first. Head First Welding, by all means. Head First Mobile Welding, we out here. All right, so go, go check Cricket out. Anyway, I'm Melt Metal Anthony. If you liked the video, that's great. Subscribe, like, share. If you didn't, well, you know what to do. Go fuck yourself. I really could give two shits. So anyway, have a great night or day. Well, for me, I guess morning.